Hi guys, in this video I want to show you 3 main things you should know before you start making effects in your videos. First what you have to do is, set markers on every beat drop of the song. Select your music and press L on your keyboard twice. Now you can see beat drops of your song, I always love to set their markers, it makes me to cut videos on a beat drops easy. Once you're done with markers, second what you have to do is, stabilize your video properly. Select your video, go to tracker and click on, stabilize motion. This little tracker point will appear and all we have to do is to track the part from your video, for example I want Lamborghini badge to be centered in my video, I will move track point there. Always make track point bigger, it will take a bit longer to analyze the video but, the results will be better and smooth. Now a few more adjustments here, click on options. Make sure to select, RGB. And make sure, adapt feature on every frame is enabled then click on OK. Once you've done this steps, click on Analyze Forward button and wait until it's done. Once the analyzing is finished, click on Edit Target then click on OK. Now click on Apply and make sure Apply Dimensions are set to X and Y, then click on OK. The video is stabilized and logo is centered but, we should correct it to the center properly. First of all let's avoid from that black edges. Press S on your keyboard and scale the video until black edges are gone. Now let's center the badge perfectly. Enable proportional grid, this will help us to find the very center of our screen. Then simply move your video until the badge is centered. Once you've finished with stabilizing the video, time to make a perfect speed ramp. First what I will do is, I will enable frame blending by clicking here twice until an arrow appears. Now let's pre-compose our video. Make sure, move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected then click on OK. Now right click on your video, go to time and select, enable time remapping. Here we can see a keyframe at the beginning of the video, this is our speed ramp keyframe, if we move the time here, we can choose beginning of the speed ramp. Go to the moment where we have set a music beat drop marker and move the last keyframe there. You can also adjust timing of the last keyframe to choose the ending of the speed ramp. Cut the rest of the video what's after the second keyframe. Now select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click here and make sure to select, edit value graph. Let's make a smooth curve. By moving up this first yellow line, I will speed up my video at the beginning, and by moving down the second line I will speed up the ending of the video. At this point, video speeds up then slows down and speeds up again. Once you're happy with stabilization and speed ramping, time to add motion blur. Let's apply CC Force Motion Blur on our video. Nice, if you want more advanced motion blur, you can get a RSMB Pro plugin. This was 3 main things you should know and do first before editing your videos with the crazy effects we see daily on Instagram. Hope this video helped you to understand speed ramping more. Let me know if I should do more free courses for beginners in After Effects.